All right, how's it going, folks? I uh, got another couple quick videos from uh, WatchAddiction.us. Um, these are uh, we have two boxes that uh, were received this week. Um, my guess is going to be that one of them is a subscription watch. The other one is likely going to be a wheel watch. Uh, I'm not sure which one yet um, that uh, that came in. So we will open them up and see. Uh, a couple of things to point out real quick. This week I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to open up the uh, boxes, see what kind of watch we get. Um, and then I'll actually this time go and do a little bit of more research about the watches because so many people love to point out how often I am incorrect, which happens on a regular basis, which, uh, you know, I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate people pointing out when I'm wrong because it helps me learn. By no means whatsoever am I an expert in anything. Uh, I just know what I like. I know I'm a fan of watches and, uh, you know, to each his own as far as uh, what they prefer, what they like, styles they like, technology they like. Uh, as well as their own personal knowledge levels. So, um, you know, for me, this is just kind of a, a learning situation along the way. Uh, as I was pointed out in one of my previous videos, I was pronouncing watch names wrong completely the whole time, which, you know what, yes, it makes me feel like an ass, um, but it is what it is. That's how we learn um, and uh, how we move forward. Anyway, uh, let's get started on this one. I'm going to pick the small box first simply because, um, I don't know, the other one's a lot heavier and uh, I like to save what I think is going to be the better ones till the end. So uh, this is our first watch. Uh, this one's from Watch Gang. This one came from Deerfield Beach, so uh, that's in Florida. My guess is it's going to be a distribution warehouse or something for Watch Gang. Not positive, not sure, um, but uh, you know. Give it a go. Again, using the Tac Force Speedster model uh, knife, which is completely overdue, but I don't give a shit. So I'll open it up and see what we have here. What surprises me about watch companies these days is it seems like nobody really puts any packing in, in these boxes anymore. And I don't know, personally me, I don't trust the U.S. Postal Service to save my life, but it is what it is so far, knock on wood. Um, I haven't had any issues. So uh, let's sort of open it up and see what we have here. Um, cardboard box, you know, with a covering. All right, let's see here. This looks to be a Pierre Bernard. Um, see if everybody can see that. Um, my guess, my best guess is this was a wheel watch purchase. Um, I don't believe any of these went out in the black subscriptions. Um, I'm going to say this is definitely not a platinum subscription watch because it just doesn't look to be like that. So let's see what we have here. Um, I can tell you so far I'm not really a huge fan of the strap. Um, I don't know, it looks kind of cheap to me. But straps can be changed. Um, the watch itself, uh, I'm going to say, this says Japanese movement, all stainless steel on the back, so I'm going to guess it's a quartz watch of some kind. Um, chronograph, obviously. For anybody that doesn't know, because I didn't know in the beginning, uh, when I first started watches, getting watches and getting into watches, chronographs, Second hand doesn't move typically on a chronograph, so don't think your watch is broken. Usually the second hand is uh, in another location on the watch, and then the actual second hand is used as a part of the chronograph feature. Um, you can see it start moving now. And then as I stop that and hit reset, it goes back to zero. But I like the watch face on this. Um, it's pretty sharp. Again, not a real, you know, heavy-duty watch. Um, the strap is a little bit on the cheaper side to me. Um, it's a sharp watch. I'm just uh, not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might throw a NATO strap on it or something like that and see what I can see. But 
that's the watch that I got. I'm going to say yes, this is definitely a wheel watch um, that came in. Um, I'll show you some close-up images of it now. And actually, once I'm done talking, and then uh, I'm going to go do some research, and we'll come back and tell you a little bit more about what I've learned about this. But here's a couple close-ups. Thank you. All right, folks, thanks for uh, taking a look at the stills. Um, again, this is the Pierre Bernard that uh, I got as a wheel watch delivery. Um, so I've had a chance now, went and grabbed my laptop, had a chance to do a little bit of more research about this watch. Um, this watch is actually, the model on this one is an Esperto, E-S-P-E-R-T-O. Um, Again, likely pronouncing shit wrong, but it is what it is. So that's, uh, that's this wheel watch that I got. Let's see if we can find out what the going value is on this. Now, I did got this watch on a wheel spin um, from Watch Gang. Uh, so I want to say I paid like $30, $40 for this guy, something like that. Uh, not positive. I'd have to go back and look. So I started, just started doing some searching around the internet to see what I can find and, uh, you know, see what we can come up with here. If you can kind of see the screen, um, not sure how that's working out for you, but um, I usually check Overstock because that's where I end up finding a lot of my wheel, uh, a lot of the watches that I end up with on, uh, from Watch Gang. Overstock's a good place to look um, to get a selling price right now. Um, they have the black model of this exact watch. This watch was made in two separate colors. The black with black band, and then they had a brown watch face with a brown uh, leather band. Um, right now, it looks to be out of stock, but when it was selling on Overstock.com, this guy was going for $121.99. Um, this has an MSRP of the manufacturer suggests price of $999, we all know with watches, um, they typically never go for manufactured suggest suggested prices, especially on some of these lower end watches, they just use it as a marketing tool. Let's take a look and see what I found at some of the other, some other websites. Here's eBay, um, here's somebody that's selling a brand new with tag, Esperto uh, Chrono from Pierre Bernard. Um, this is a blue watch face uh, with gold case. I have not seen this one. However, I definitely like the one that I have a little bit better. Black with stainless steel case. Um, on eBay, starting bid on this one, uh, five days left in the auction is $65 with a buy it now price of $89. So the price goes down, but it is it is what it is. Um, again, just another, another overstock.com find. This is a uh, different case, um, different color. I guess I'm a complete liar as it relates to how many colors and models they made. But here is the uh, white and blue one. Again, $129.99. Blue Fly, I checked Blue Fly. I couldn't find this exact model on Blue Fly. It's another uh, good website to check. Then <clears throat> here, Walmart, walmart.com. Who would have thought you could find watches at walmart.com but here it is again this is out of stock but when it was in stock walmart was selling this exact watch for a hundred and three dollars and ninety nine cents uh... i only bring this up because uh... you know that's what they're going for i think i paid thirty bucks for it forty bucks something like that with the wheel spin um, you know, a couple other things that i did learn about this watch thanks to walmart.com um, <clears throat> this guy is using a Miyota. OS 10 movement, um, black strap. The case diameter on this guy is 44 millimeter again. Um, screw down crown uh, and with only water resistance of 30 meters. The dial, or I'm sorry, the, the watch face on this, this is a mineral watch face. Um, a lot of the lower end watches use the mineral versus sapphire to save money. 
Um, but they classify this as a luxury chronograph. Again, I'm not a real fan of the band, but uh, I do like the looks of the watch itself, the watch face, um, and everything that goes along with it. So I'll probably no throw it on a NATO strap and, you know, wear it as a beater or something around something I'm not too worried about getting beat. All right, thank you all, and have a great day.